I want to what I want to ask you is how do you see and maybe here we can segue into what the, the kind of Tai Chi that you promote and maybe we talk about a bit of, a bit about Tai Chi International. So when Tai Chi at the very beginning had a, a practice had over 100 forms. Right now there are standardized form of 60, 40, 24 forms. So do you think Tai Chi over the years has been simplified way too much? Or are you, are you more a, a traditionalist when it comes to Chinese, uh, to Tai Chi form? Or yes. do you think that there is a need to make Tai Chi more accessible to people today? You're right. That's several points of your question, I could say. So starting with the first, you mentioned that appearance, martial appearance that will somehow impose. Of course, Tai Chi has that. Tai Chi at the very beginning came from a soldier practice, a war practice, a warrior practice. So if we think of the ancient Asian warriors, they are presented in very stable posture and quite impressive, quite no, not aggressive, but fierce. Uh, yes. If we think of Buddha warrior or the Thai fighters, they are shown with the head of a lion dragon. And this to me, it's at the border between surviving and opening or knocking to the gates of wellness. Later on, you have mentioned the masters, they have such a calm, such a meditati meditative state of mind and it, they show a certain happiness. In, in pra within practice. And this shows that they pass beyond this, beyond this um, impressive, aggressive postures to, because they took control. They, as mm. we mentioned fighting earlier, you see, I saw some combats between Tai Chi and the other martial arts, especially MMA that's now very powerful. And then that was a mistake from the Tai Chi fighters in the beginning because they tried to fight with the weapons of the adversary, of the opponent, which is wrong. We should be <laughs> so much in control and use that void that I was saying. So when the opponent hits, it will hit into a void, into emptiness. But this comes with, also with um, combat practice. So as we are saying, dedication. If I practice Tai Chi for wellness, I might be very healthy and fluid and flexible, but I'm not really prepared for fight. Yes, not so combat. That's really. something that's missing. If I want to, to attend fighting, I have to really put my attention, my time, and my conviction into fighting to be prepared. So it's, it's basically taking out of the comfort zone and putting ourselves to work. And now coming to... Tai Chi International, uh, no, not yet, sorry, coming to many routines that are on uh, Tai Chi, like 24, 48, uh, 40, 60, 72, 108, 83. All these routines are actually steps, steps into learning. We, I see many people, they try to learn 108 from the beginning. Why should I learn 108? then it requires a high level of understanding. I should start with 24. 24, young style, the most popular, is the mo my teacher said, it's uh, the most accessible one from the five gates of Tai Chi, five gates being the five styles. So knock on the door that will open first. Simple, we have to learn the alphabet with A. It's, it's just like that. And after, of course, it was simplified. It was simplified for a better understanding. Uh, so but, what, what, so yeah. what are you trying to do through Tai Chi International? I know that you're very active in promoting Tai Chi in Canada, running seminars and workshops and trainings online and offline. What is your, your mission and, and mission and vision? Thank you for your, your very kind and your appreciation. Thank you. Well, my vision, it's to, to bring Tai Chi to attention as a tool of wellness. 
to, as you said, to, to shake a little bit the conscience of the people and to see that if we live for wellness, if we put our time only in doing good things for us and for the others, we might live in a better world one day. So my goal is achieving wellness from, my, from what I know, from what I'm dedicated to, through Tai Chi. But of course, there are many ways, but I think they all join together into the point where we, we go into wellness world and we live for what we like to do. We have even a job that will be, that will do it with passion and we, with conviction without watching our time. Uh, how, how many hours do I have until the five o'clock and I have to go home and, and this, it's a happy life. So wellness, it's a way of happiness. That's what I that's what I try to do with my Tai Chi International. Mm. Of course, promoting yeah. this beautiful art of Tai Chi. Of course, of course. So uh, I know that, I mean, for a fact, I see it here in China all the time. Tai Chi is very, very popular, not only in China, but throughout Asia, I can say. I was in Thailand for many years and I see, I saw there many, people practicing Tai Chi regularly every morning in the park. And you could just walk up and join them and practice together with them. So I think there's a very strong base for Tai Chi practice and understanding in China. How about the Western world? What about Europe and, and, and the Americas, North America in special? Wonderful especially? question. I cannot say much about Europe, even though I, uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, Tai Chi is growing into Europe. Uh, and, uh, but I noticed that each continent has a different way of approaching or understanding the Tai Chi. I would say there will, there have always been disputes in North America saying that what some Tai Chi teachers, Americans or non-Chinese Tai Chi teachers, they have a different way of presenting it. I myself think that we can learn from everyone, that we, we just have to be what one of my karate practitioner friends said, we have to have a white belt mentality. That means we I can like learn that. in any circumstances from everyone. And of course, one thing that I take, you see like hearts, Arts have always been a symbiosis between currents, between places. I bring something from the east and I put a little bit of west. Like in and Yang, they have a, a dot. So it's actually been adapted to another body structure, another mentality, to the way of life. But the essence, the roots are still there. So we should value what we have locally, let's say. So... Um, I think uh, Tai Chi uh, takes different forms, but the main idea is there. And through practice, people, they achieve um, a high level and they discover what is the essence. So we should not say no to what, something that's slightly modified, something that's slightly changed, but with good intentions. And through, by, by just beginning to practice a martial art, Tai Chi meditation, one is open to these new to new ideas. One actually is challenged to new ideas. And as I was saying, if you stick for 66 days and it becomes a habit, from there, you, you yourself can take it further and you know, deepen your understanding of Tai Chi, maybe one school, maybe a different school, maybe you continue with meditation, maybe you're interested in, in, in combat forms. Even I think there's like, there's great examples of Tai Chi choreography in, uh, in, in movies, in Hollywood, in martial arts. They're just beautiful. That's true, that's true. And I, I sincerely advise people to experience few teachers, to experience different practices. Maybe I myself practice two styles, Yang and Chen. Uh, all this enriches us, creates us a, a mythology, a history of the thing that we love and practice. Of course, I said this, we name Tai Chi. We do a, a discussion about Tai Chi, but this can apply to anything. And I think people, they should love what they do and dedicate themselves. 
and discovered the very essence. You see, as they say that uh, into an atom, there's the model of the whole cosmos. So we have to find this model that's common for all things. And when we are integrated with this flow, with this circulation, with this movement of yin and yang, then we are part of it. But being part of something, it's wonderful. It's integrating with life. It's, everything makes sense, everything correlates. So this is really the wellness. This is the idea of Tai Chi International. And this is the, the idea of all these things that bring wellness. And this is, the, the, I think, the future perspective of life, if I could say, regarding to what happens nowadays, people, they should open to a new world that's coming. And this world will come if we want to continue with what we do, we have to accept the new world, the new way, and to discover wellness, to be, to live better, to live a good life. I think if, if there's anything we have learned from the, the, the recent quarantine cases and the coronavirus and the lockdowns and the very tragic deaths that happen all over the world, I think the world, hopefully when, when we get out of this mess, the world will focus more on, on both physical wellness and mental wellness. Like this, this quarantine and lockdown has brought down the, um, the mental health of the entire Mappamond and of the entire globe very, very low. And we all need to come out of this, this very strange situation with the coronavirus a bit wiser and focus more on the things that will improve our lives in the future, which is always health and wellness. And I think through Tai Chi, we can also reach a more peaceful state of mind an awareness of who we are. And this can increase our, our mental health. I think it's, it will be very, you know, um, Wonderful. What I use? It, it, it will be very attractive for people in the future to do an activity that will increase both their wellness, their physical health, but also their mind up here. Th th this is my opinion, and this is how I see the world coming out of this. You put it on the notes as a melody wonderfully. So I would say that that's true. And, and as we discuss, you know, through dedication, through hard work, we achieve something and there will be no waste. That should be the simple solution. Just in getting involved with something and then people, they will feel happiness. They will have, they will have their mind preoccupied. Their mind will work into achieving something that's wonderful, that enhances their life. And also that will be less waste, less, time that's spent with things that are useless. They will, everything will go into one direction and the quality of life will raise. There will be wellness physical because we are active. We are out of the comfort zone that creates a false uh, image of uh, well-being. The real well-being when the systems work together, as in chi. What is actually chi, if I am to draw a parallel? Qi is the, the conjunction of all the system of the body working very well. Circulatory, respiratory, nervous system above all. And then it will create this state. You see, when I'm healthy, when I, when I eat good food, when I breathe fresh air, when I'm in a nice environment, I'm naturally happy. I don't need anything else, that's it. So that's what the Qi, that's what the, the dedication and the good work and the good results do. And as I achieve all these things, my mind will be peaceful. My mind will be uh, happy, will be content with what I have. And it, it will only push me forward in the good direction. As I'm at this, uh, on this state, I'm not willing to do any harm. So the fine thing, it's already conquered. If I, if I can show this, it will be much more impressive than if I show a martial posture. No need True. for this, because at the, if any conflict, as we go at the root, we can find solution that's beneficial for both parts. This is what people, they should foresee for the future. 
the, the way I see it, I think this is with many other martial arts, but especially with Tai Chi because it is so fluid and so, so graceful. I think Tai Chi can also help people increase their focus and increase their, their awareness of the here and now and advance through to an, an age and a time where we are able to do one activity for longer than two minutes or longer than 30 seconds. We are in an era where all we do, we scroll through, in, through, through Facebook and through Twitter and we read just the title. And even if we click on the article, we do not have the patience to read the full article. We're just like headlines readers. And I think Tai Chi, through the practice of Tai Chi one or any other martial arts, even meditation, doesn't have to be a martial art, meditation or breathing or yoga, one is also maybe taught or retrained to stay focused on, on one activity and build and find a deeper meaning to whatever you're searching for, not just become like a headline reader and have an opinion immediately. So I think Tai yeah. Chi has, has very practical benefits, both wellness, physical, uh, mental, spiritual, but also psychological. It trains your mind to, to perform an action and a movement over a longer period of time, which is something that it's crazy how people no longer even have the patience to listen to one another or to find out the context of what we are talking about. We just quickly jump into conclusions. And I think that's why our podcast, I think it is relevant that we are challenging people's perspectives, as in there is another opinion out there. There is another way, let's explore it. And I don't think we're claiming that we have discovered or we know the best way but it is important for us to share our experiences and hopefully through our sharing, maybe we find other people who can share back with us and we can improve and they can improve. That will be wonderful. And this, this, the, your words, I can see many aspects, but I will draw only one conclusion, which is wisdom. Mm. Actually, what we gain through all this practice, through learning to see what's behind the words of that scrolling media, uh, practicing for a little bit longer, bringing to life this ancient art of Tai Chi. It's trying to reach to gain some wisdom. So passing through all these steps from surviving to well-being, to wellness, to let's say further being happy or spiritual, it's actually a, a wise way of living life. It's, it's wisdom. That's what we should and we should aim and we should achieve. Yes, and I think it's a, it's a great you know, conclusion and ending to, to our podcast today. And I want to inform everyone that we are planning to bring this message out there and we're planning to discuss even further topics, Tai Chi, martial arts, wellness, mindfulness, meditation, spirituality in the future. And I hope that, you know, people will start engaging with us and let us know in the comment section, what do they think? Is there, is there a form of Tai Chi that they prefer? Do they know anything about Tai Chi? I'm always curious to see what people, what other people think of, of my opinion, what is their understanding? I would like us to engage in, in, a, in a dialogue with as many people as possible. And if I am made to bring a word at the end, I think we, sh we, we, take, we should take the things further and even step out there and engage with people to draw their conclusions to, to present our activity, which we'll probably do in the future. And I'm so happy once again, Michna, to be with you. Uh, even though we are so far, we are so close grace to this marvelous technology that we have nowadays. And uh, sure. for this evening, I will say, um, hao. <laughs> and uh, Same. if I'm like a little bit of my uh, Chinese knowledge. And uh, until next time.
I'll see you and I'll see everyone next week. Take care. Thank you. All the best.